So we all know buying a home right now is really expensive. Interest rates continue to rise, but there's a new company out there that is trying to make home ownership more affordable to some home buyers. However, we really need to dive into this. Today, we're talking about this new company called Groundly. So Groundly recently on this house, it looks really nice. And you're thinking, why is it only listed for $305,000? and they just bought the house for $430,000 all cash. So why are they lowering it by $125,000? Well, here's what Groundly does. They will sell you the house or the structure, but they get to keep the land. Yes, you heard that right. You don't actually own the land. This company that is called Groundly owns it. And on top of that, if you buy this house, you don't own the land, and you have to pay a ground lease of $536 for the next 55 years years. Now with this as well, there's a 2% annual increase in how much that $536 is charged per month. They keep raising it 2%, 2%, 2% every single year for the next 55 years before you can finally own the land. So let's check out this company's website. It's called mygroundly.com and it says their mission is to make American dream of home ownership more affordable through a modern ground lease, reducing the upfront cost. So that's their intention is by just charging you for the house up front, it's a cheaper purchase. But look at some of this print, and this is the big print. This isn't the fine print with contracts down the road. You have to pay $536 a month for the next 55 years. Now, if you calculate this out, 55 years at $536 per month, that's $353,000 in paying for the land that the house sits on. This kind of reminds me of mobile homes in Florida where you pay uh, lot rent for your mobile home. But no, this is a single family house on a third of an acre and you have to make payments for the next 55 years. Now I looked at why is there this asterisk? And so if we go to documentation here, how does it work? What they do is they actually charge you a 2% increase per year on that uh, ground lease. So if that $536 continues to go up and up and up. So when you calculate in over $353,000 of a ground lease payment over 55 years, plus the cost of the house, you're probably approaching north of three quarters of a million dollars, $750,000 for a house they just paid $430,000 for, not even counting the interest that you're paying to the bank. So is this a good idea? Is it not? Well, with my broker hat and overseeing over 300 agents at our company, Zach Taylor Real Estate, here's some of my insight. Now you can probably already tell by my tone and the way I'm covering this, but let me give some further clarity into how I view this. So my first thoughts here are, obviously with a lender, this is definitely going to affect qualification. Even if the home price is lower, you're now tacking on to a buyer another $536 a month of a payment. Kind of like if they had a car or credit card, you're adding debt that they have to take on and still qualify for. So is it actually cheaper? Well, if you run the numbers in this scenario, you're very close. If you're putting down three and a half percent on this house and just buying the land and the house outright, you're, you're within a couple hundred dollars initially of what Groundly is hoping to save you per month by just selling you the house and then keep the land. But when you account for the 2% inflation per year, Groundly quickly outpaces the cost of that fixed 30% locked in rate with most traditional lenders. You also got to think about the fine print of something like this. So they have a lease on the land for 55 years. Well, what's the fine print here? What if you want to sell it at any point within that 55 years? What happens? Do you owe Groundly anything? I couldn't imagine that they'd let you keep this for just a year, sell it, and maybe you sell it for the 430,000 or 450, depending on appreciation where it's at, and make that additional profit without them having some sort of minimum guarantee. So where's the fine print here? Because there's no way they're gonna take an additional haircut on any future profit, especially if they're foregoing 55 years and you sell it in one year, well, they missed out on 54 years of payments. There's gotta be some sort of fine print that they're still gonna make some sort of money. Another question that I have as a broker on this type of product or what they're offering is it's very similar to solar panels. So when I was in Florida and I listed a house that had solar panels, they had a balance of $26,000 and that actually scared a lot of buyers or hurt people qualifying to buy that house. Well, same thing here. You can sell the structure in the future, but not the actual land. So when you sell it, is that gonna hurt your future appreciation or what you could get out of it? How are you gonna to explain to the next buyer that, hey, I only own this structure, I don't actually own this third of an acre. So how is that gonna affect the resale value of this property? Another question to consider is what if you wanna do something with that third of an acre? What if you wanna add a pool, add a barn, add a shed? What if you just wanna add an outdoor grill? 
what are the different use cases that you, can you still even use the land to its fullest potential? Could this company sell the mineral rights? And what if you stop making lease payments? What is the penalty? Do they get to keep the structure? Do they get to kick you out? Can they foreclose on the property? What happens here since there's this interesting dynamic of you owning the house and they own the land? Another issue with this type of approach is this company is going to greatly hurt comparable properties in that area. Other neighbors that want to sell their house they're gonna have a comp for $305,000 when all the homes might be in the 400,000s. So how is that going to affect future resale value around that area and in that community? So this Groundling company provides a different perspective. Their mission statement of trying to make the American dream of home ownership more affordable. However, when you look at the interest that's charged over the next 55 years, you're actually paying more in interest than the cost of the house to this company Groundly, plus you're paying the bank interest on top of that. And them claiming they save you up to 30% on down payments and up to 7% on initial monthly payments. Well, again, 2% per year that keeps going up and up and up and up. So this company Groundly has its work cut out for it. It actually reminds me of this other company called MV Realty. So what MV was doing was they were getting sellers cash up front. Hey, we'll pay you 300 to $5,000 and you'll sign this listing agreement with us for the next 40 years. And if you ever list it, it has to be through us and you have to agree to 3% commission. And if you don't list through us and you go behind our back outside of this 40 year contract, then we can charge you 6% as a fee. And MV Realty right now is facing numerous lawsuits and was essentially banned from 14 states and just filed for bankruptcy. So while it's a new idea that Groundly has, it's gonna be a pass for me if I ever look to buy a house and looking at the description, looking at the terms and looking at the price and the payments, I think Dave Ramsey would throw a book at my head if I went ahead and did this.